What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 2 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one useful tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's tip I'm going to be showing you guys how to use optical flares and this is really popular in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you guys how to add them to a still image. Now if you guys don't have optical flares, no need to worry. If you guys just go on to YouTube and type in free flare pack, hundreds and hundreds of videos that are going to pop up with free flares that you guys can download and enjoy. But if you guys want to use my flares, open up the description below. It should say download link to flares and it's going to um, pop up with this. And after you download it, you'll have uh, my most popular flares that I use. Now it doesn't come with very many, it's going to come with 13 of them but they're pretty popular in all those packs and uh, I use them the most. So without further ado, let's just hop right on in it after we have our flares. Now right here I just have my good old graffiti text that I made in Cinema 4D. Um, this is used on all my stuff and it uh, looks pretty nice. So we're gonna add the optical flares onto the actual text file and uh, let's get started. So we're gonna go to File Open and you want to open wherever you saved the flares. So if you just saved them to your desktop or maybe you have a special folder, um, these are my everyday flares, so I'm going to open up, we'll open up the blue one to match our text. And now that we have this, it's going to pop up with the black background, but don't worry, we'll get rid of that. Just click and drag on over to your project and just throw it down there. Alright, so now to get rid of this black background, it's actually one of the easiest things ever, but a lot of people are going to try um, erasing it. You don't need to erase anything. All you have to do is just make sure you're clicked on your guys' flare go to normal and then you want to select screen and after you do that it gets rid of the black background and it's here for you to enjoy now I'm going to uh, show you guys how to place the optical flares because placement is about everything now if you guys want to kind of have a bigger flare all you guys have to do is just control J on your guys's flare and it's gonna make it a little bit thicker and it's gonna make it a little bit more brighter now, as you see, um, it has a really big outcast, and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the outcast glow um, once we zoom in onto our um, placement. So I'm going to place it uh, kind of around the P. So if we just hold down Alt and scroll in, that's going to zoom us into wherever our mouse is hovered over. And we're going to go to Layer 2 Copy and Layer 2 and hold down Control, and I'm going to press control E and that's going to combine them and then it's going to give us the black background once again and we're going to go to normal and screen. Alright so now that we have these they're going to move at the same time and we're going to go control T and we're going to rotate it around and then we're going to place it wherever we want so that looks about good right there now you guys are thinking uh, now we have this awkward line just popping out of our text no need to worry open up your guys eraser tool and I would recommend using a pretty big soft brush so I'm gonna be using about 250 and you guys just want to go around the edges real quick and soften up the edges and then you guys are gonna want to open up even a bigger brush so let's say about 500 and then just get rid of the excess of what you guys don't want. Now you guys are going to want to keep some of the glow from the optical flare so it really pops off. So right around here is about good using the big brush. And now we're going to make it about a hundred brush and we're going to hold down alt once again and zoom in to where we want. And then we're just going to get rid of the excess. Now you guys are going to want to play around with them a little bit because you guys don't want to erase the glow off of the P. So going to try our best. Alright so right there is about good and now you see we have this awkward crater into our flare. So guys just play around with it until you guys get it. We'll zoom in a little bit more. Use a smaller soft brush. I'm going to be using about 50. and then just erase around cut that off and then go back in with a about 300 pixel brush zoom out a bit and then soften it up once again all 
Alright, so there we go. Now we have an optical flare over there. And now we can just, uh, now after we did that though, you don't have to do that to everyone. So we can go Control J on our layer 2 and it makes another layer. And we can add them to really wherever we want. Now you want to make sure that the glow is shadowing over the text. So we want to Control T this one again, rotate it around, and now that will be shining onto our text. So right about there is good. Control J again, and just place them wherever you want. So Control T once again, and we'll add that right about there. And then you guys go from there, um, and you guys can add them wherever you want. Now, as you guys see on my background here, I have this big flare reaching from left to right of the screen, and I can show you guys how to add that real quick as well. You guys just want to open up whatever flare you use, so I just use this one. I'll take it on over there. And this one's really simple, uh, but it looks really nice as well onto your text. You guys are just going to want to scroll it down. Make sure it's fitted to your guys' left and right margins. Go to normal, screen it again, and then bring it down to wherever you guys want it. Now, you guys don't have to erase anything on this one, and then make sure just to add like some text over it, or even if you wanted to, just put it right under the text behind the text, obviously. Um, and then you guys will have a nice looking, popping background. So if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any feedback or you guys have any questions or concerns that uh, aren't working with the optical flares, please leave them in the comment sections below and I'll respond to you guys ASAP. And until next time, guys, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle.